thank you all for tuning in. And you just got through listening to the soulful sounds of Mr. P-Dub, a.k.a. Pretty Willie, a.k.a. Willie Mo Jr. singing his song, My Walk, coming out on his new album called Turning Point. And you will be expecting that this summer is called The Turning Point by Mr. P-Dub, a.k.a. Pretty Willie, a.k.a. Willie Mo Jr. And I am your host, Bishop Pierre Brown, and we are live in a and this is a Black History at Victory Memory Show, where we recollect and think back to the Black History program that I was so blessed to be a part of and to witness and experience. And today is a very special day. First of all, let me let me let you know who I got in the room. I got I got my daughter up in the house. We got baby Brown. I ain't seen you for a while, girl. How you doing? What's up with it? It's good to see you, girl. It's good to hear from you. It seems like it's been forever. You doing okay? I'm doing good. That's my bad or whatever. You know, sometimes things happen, and you know it is what it is, but I'm here. Things, things do happen, and I remember uh, Sister Elena Ross at the program saying that sometimes, you, you know, you don't lose sight of who you are. You just lose sight, and so you're something like a blind person like Ray Charles walking around sometimes, so I totally understand. <laughs> no problem at all. Now, 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 we gotta let the people know that they gotta be on the lookout for what we got coming up, coming, coming out pretty soon. We got, we got God is love, a preacher's confession coming out real soon this summer. So be on the lookout for that. And uh, we, we got two more guests here. Uh, before, before we go into God is love, just want to announce the other two guests. We got Pastor Leo Barbie Jr. and his beautiful wife, Sister Helen Barbie. How are you all doing this evening? We're doing fine this Great. evening. Glad to be here. Glad to have you, glad to have you. Well, first off, I just want to ask uh, the two of you, the three of you, just, just to kind of share with the people just your thoughts and memories on the Black History Program that we just shared in February. Well, I'll let Pastor and his lovely wife go first. <laughs> okay, honey, I should go, go now. Why am I going first? <laughs> okay, because you're the same. <laughs> Everybody's just giving it up to everybody else. <laughs> well... This was our first uh, black history program at Victory, and uh, Bishop Brown, I thought that you did Brown. a fantastic job. It's very difficult for me to roll my B. You can roll the B. Can, well, can we practice real quick? Do you know how to motorboat? Do you know how to motorboat? Can't motorboat. I can only blow in water. Can't. Oh, Lord. Well, you are excused from rolling the beat. Me too. But um, overall, I thought the program was fantastic for the first time. Very good talent, um, and I just enjoyed it. What do you think, honey? I think it was an excellent program as well. I think it was put together well. I think the participants did an excellent job in uh, doing the different, uh, the music, the uh, praise dancers, uh, the different uh, Bishop Brown and his uh, presentation I thought was an excellent job. And those uh, two young ladies who did with the MCs, uh, Mistress MC, I think they did an excellent job to mm. keeping the program flowing. Yeah. I think that people really appreciated uh, what they saw and the different talents and the different gifts, uh, different talents that were displayed, that it was a variety, not just one kind, but it was a variety of uh, presentation. I think that made it a much more healthier uh, program. Yeah, I do. absolutely. Uh, one thing I was thinking about, um, also because of the various talent, I didn't see that it was morally weak and 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 anemic in character. I thought that everything that was displayed uh, actually pivoted toward Black history, which I think most people really enjoyed. Right, and I agree with you. I thought it was an excellent mm -hmm. job too. I really do. Mm -hmm. I think the. Um, Bishop Brown did a good job of putting the talent together, putting mm -hmm. the program together. I know I commend him for a lot, a lot of work mm -hmm. that was uh, contacting a lot of people. And so it was Woo, really, I tell you. a lot of program, a lot of folks in that program. I thought it was really good. Yeah, you, Absolutely. Brown, you're quite a virtuous man, I must say. Well, thank, thank you. I appreciate that because some people may think otherwise, but I appreciate you saying that. Maybe, maybe Brown, what, what do you think? What, what do you think about the program? Um, I would have to agree with what uh, the pastor and the first lady said. It was a dynamic experience, and 
on top of that, uh, I'm a firm believer in where there's a will, there's a way. So um, people don't know what went on behind the scenes, but it did come to the oh, end. And who was there was supposed to be there. <laughs> There you go. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it, and I just thank you all for allowing me to be a part of it because I will say there was a little controversy about my appearance. And so, and when I say my appearance, not my physical appearance, but just me being there. And so I know that I can't please everybody, but I was just happy to be a part of it because I really, really, really believe that everybody that was there, they couldn't help but appreciate what, what they saw take place. I so, agree with you. So, I so agree with you on that. So, was the controversy uh, regarding your appearance, was that when your mustache fell off or what? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Listen here. Now, <laughs> now, uh, now, why did you even have to go there, you know? I uh, like we they didn't even the people listening didn't even know anything about that. No, I just want to put it out there real quick. Uh, there were people who were a little confused, a little bumfuzzled, if you would say, about what Bishop Brown stood for. You know, and some people perceive that I might have been plain. But I oh oh, speaking of which, I have an announcement to make. Oh, the first time ever, a major announcement on Bishop Brown live in HD. I have changed the name of the church, uh, Pastor Bobby, I've, I've, I've put in my, my, my request to the National um, Conference of Churches, and, and they have accepted it. They told me that I met my limit of words for the name of the church. Yeah, yeah, they told me that I've reached my limit, so I can't extend it anymore, but the change, they, they said they would go along with it. So it is here, henceforth and forevermore, we have rescinded the name of Keep Hope Alive, Faith Temple Tabernacle, High Definition, Pimp and Church of God in Christ. We have rescinded the name to now be Keep Hope Alive, Baptist, Catholic, AME, High Definition, Pimp and Pentecostal, Church of God in Christ. Uh, what do y'all think about that? That's good. That's mighty good. I, I think, think that's, that's all right. That's I, all right. I, I, I think you. that uh, when people go to write a check, uh, they're going to run out of space. To... Well, you know, they can make that out to me. You know, we can we can make that very easy. They can make any check out to Bishop Brown. Just roll to be on the check. all those brrrs on there, then. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the reason why they have a back of the check. So you can do the extra brrrs on the back. But anywho, so so we say let let me let me state this because I need everybody to know the reason why I came up with this name because I I, I felt bad in thinking about the Black History Program and I, I wish that I would have explained the name, explained what I believe a little bit better, and I believe that people would be able to appreciate it from there. So so let me go ahead and say that now. Okay, now I just want to make this plain and clear. I had, uh, well, I didn't have, but I remember Mr. Timothy John had uh, a pastor and uh, Sister Barbie on earlier on unconditional faith, hope, and love, and, and the pastor, you said you're not anti-religion, you're just pro Jesus. Jesus, that's correct. And, and that's, right. exactly, that's exactly what Bishop Brown believes, and I believe that a lot of our religions, a lot of our sex, a lot of our sex, S E. C T, not S E X. I mean that's a whole nother story and we will leave that for next show. No, no, no. All the sex, S E C T S. All of these things have taken a, the the attention away from the reason. And we know the reason for the season. And so with that being said, I am a firm believer of Christ and I don't know anything else, okay? So so since we all say that we are one body of Christ, what I have decided to do in my ministry is combine as many denominations as I can to all keep hope alive and push towards that one common goal of waiting on our Christ to return. Now, what was the name so, of your new uh, name? The new name? Yeah, the new keep name. Hope Alive, uh -huh. Baptist, Catholic, AME, uh -huh. High Definition, Pippin Pentecostal, Church of God in Christ. Oh, I thought you said non-denominational church of God in Christ. <laughs> no, no, pimping Pentecostal. We got to keep the pimping in there. Like I explained, like I explained with the Black History Program, they said, the, the young lady said, who are you pimping if you're changing and whoop de woo whoop de woo as you like, if you like Sister Bobby. Whoop de woo whoop de woo I told her that we are pimping the devil. 
when you preach, you know, you can't think of anything else. At least you can say, oh, praise the Lord, whoop de woo whoop de woo whoop de woo Go right on. Go right on. Go right on. Right on, exactly, because, you know, people be having stuff to do at the church. They can't just be sitting around waiting for you to get to it, and you can't find it sometimes. So, Pastor, we both going to have to whoop de woo whoop de woo it next Sunday. That's right. That's about right. You, didn't, you know that's right. You're going to really yeah, it is. That is. <laughs> yeah, we're going to. We, well, speaking of which, I was away from Keep Hope, Keep Hope Alive, Baptist, Catholic, A&E, High Definition, Pip and Pentecostal Church of God in Christ last Sunday, and I, and I was there to visit your church, and, and you all ran a little later than normal. Pastor, what was that all about? Oh, oh yeah. Well, you know, when the uh, Holy Spirit gets a hold of us, we got to go ahead and do what he says do oh, and not you. cut it off because if he says go a little bit longer, we'll do that. Without any apology whatsoever, so that's we fine. just that's where we are. Yeah, well, and that's exactly what we did at the program. We went a little bit longer than you know maybe everybody was anticipating. Yeah. But it was good though. It was it was an excellent program, and it uh, was great. Well, Pastor, I got a, I got a question for you, right. and, and and I'm gonna ask this question, and then I'm gonna give an example so right. you can think about it. I want to share something with the people. Right. I want to ask you what you thought and how did you feel seeing your son seeing your daughter, and seeing your wife, uh, and th- these are these are your, your, your immediate family members. I want to ask how you felt about seeing them perform and participate in this program, as well as seeing some of your older church members who've been there from the start of it be a part of that. So and before before you... And my grandchildren. And your grandchildren, excuse yeah, me. Yes, sir. Well, yes, sir. You yes. Know, I, I'm really was thankful and honored that uh, for my lovely wife to hear her sing. I always enjoy her singing, to hear my wife. Uh, melodious voice. I really appreciated that. Then my oldest child, uh, not a child anymore, she just turned 49 the other day, my uh, Victoria, I was real pleased to see her because I watched her uh, for a number of years acting and uh, she does an excellent job. And it's good to see her yeah. and my oldest granddaughter along with the praise and worship. So that was a real blessing to see them along with my others. So it was just a blessing to see um, my family involved in something that is positive and not something that is negative. And uh, one of the things I've said so much is that one of the greatest things you can leave your children is a spiritual legacy and a spiritual heritage, not just the money and the cars and the stuff, because that stuff is going to burn right. up. But when you see leave them, uh, see them doing something that's positive, that's constructive, that's very meaningful, that's uplifting, it does your heart good. And it was, I was just thrilled to have them, us to be on the same stage together. Why did I ask that? <laughs> I don't know where Bishop Brown went. I, I, you think maybe he had to go to the restroom? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to say that. Maybe, maybe he went to change Mrs. Brown. Oh, oh, no, no, I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm right here. Uh, I was I was semi-muted for a second, but I was telling baby Brown, come on, let's hear it. Oh. Go ahead. Let's hear you sing. Go ahead. Let's hear it. The pastor wanted me to. Let's hear it. Come on. Will you sing for the pastor at least? What? In a razor? I need a request. Well, what do you want them to sing, Pastor? Well, what do what do you like to sing? What what's your favorite song? See, if somebody asks me, I know what I like. Some of my favorite songs. What do you like? See, y'all because, you know, know, baby. See, y'all know, baby Brown ain't saved now. Hold <laughs> 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 on, you better start talking like that, girl, and you better start rolling the beat. <laughs> Come on, let let us hear a song. Wait a minute, baby Brown. Let me ask you a question. Yes, ma'am. Do you fear the Lord, love the truth, and hate sin? Yes. Well, you see. Yeah. Oh. That is. That right. is. Is that easy? Yeah, just go ahead and help yourself. <laughs> It's easier, it's easier to get saved than it is to get a value customer card at Walmart. That's right. <laughs> Jesus is always. Come on, baby, Brian. You, you, you're stalling right now. We got to get it. I'm going to close out with a song. Okay. No more. What? Do you know how you just tricked us? <laughs> I, I came to an epiphany yesterday. You know, they say we all got a calling. Mom. Uh-huh. Huh? Well, people that try to sing that can't sing, the Lord, their their phone must have been disconnected. They didn't get their (laughs) call. Yeah, like that. (laughs) (laughs) I I was thinking, David Brown, if you said it off, we could all go, Pastor, what's your favorite song? Can you go ahead and and bless us with something real quick? Oh, behind Precious Lord? In it today, that'll work. The Lord is precious. You, you, you would give me a, uh, just a stanza or so? 
I remember. I remember on the show. Show. Uh, oh no, the heart of her husband does safely trust, trust in her. her. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it was. I remember uh, statistically reading that divorces are so prevalent now, mm-hmm. and it says that sadly we can't. Today, husbands and wives don't really have trust, and uh, but being able to fully trust your marriage partner is one of the fundamental foundations of a strong God honoring marriage. And I remember reading it said that Martin Luther said of his wife, "The greatest gift of God is a pious, amiable spouse who fears God, loves his house, and with whom one can live in perfect confidence." Uh, so. The wife being a virtuous woman is such a godly, you know, thing. And and a, a man should never, 
a godly man should always be proud of a godly wife and do whatever he can do for her. Absolutely. That's what I got as a godly wife. <laughs> Amen. Absolutely. And the virtuous woman she has a godly husband. Mm-hmm. She, whatever she deals out, a virtuous woman to her husband, it is always good. She serves him and that what is good is but not evil. She wants only God's best and highest for him. Mm. And then her life and her deeds, <clears throat> there will be a constant benefit and blessing to her husband if she remains a godly. Oh, we just had us a new. I, I apologize for that interruption. We just had us a, a new a new person join us in live in HD. Uh, hello, are you there? I'm here. How you doing? How are we doing? And and, and we're speaking to Mr. Furlow. Is that correct? That would be me. <laughs> All right, we got well. Welcome to Bishop Brown live in HD. We wow. have with the <laughs> hey, we have Mr. Minister Alex Furlow. And if you notice, we were just sitting here just being so blessed and thankful by the Lord. Mr. And Mr. Minister Alex Furlow blessed us. Uh, he plays the guitar, he composes music, and he also sings. And he blessed us with a uh, beautiful, two beautiful selections at Black History. Sure did. Sure did. Yeah. It's beautiful. So welcome, welcome, brother. How are you doing? I'm good. I was just listening to the Virtuous Woman piece. I was just uh, there you go. <laughs> getting, 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 the, getting the ear full. You know, that virtuosity is most definitely important. Mm-hmm. If you don't have a virtuous woman, you might want to ask God to show you how to get one real quick. Oh, That's yeah. Right, oh, I'm Lord. Lord. I was, <laughs> that, 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 God, are you listening? God, give me one. And people said, well, how do you find such a lovely life? I said, I prayed. And yeah. You know, my prayers. I know that's right. That's the wife. Yeah. So it's always yeah, a good wife. thing. Good thing. That that's is right. a very good thing. You over there quiet, baby. Brian, you still with us? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure. Uh, well, 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 Sister Helen, I apologize for interrupting. Uh, please continue. Well, I like to I like to officially, you know, go ahead and, and form this union you all have already met, but I like to go ahead and make this connection with Sister Helen and uh Baby Brown. You know, we, we all know who Baby Brown is, but I gotta like to go ahead and make this connection because you two women are actually linking up to do something very powerful in the world. And and so if you if you'd like to take about a couple minutes to just share with with the people what what that's all about. What are we doing? Oh Lord! <laughs> divine diamond. Divine diamond. There you go. Oh, you have to know what you're doing. Come on, baby Brown. Let's get it together. Oh, I, I didn't know baby Brown was a part of that. Baby, baby Brown is the president, so she better know what's going on. Oh, okay. So that that ain't too virtuous, girl. You better know what's going on. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Okay. You well, got the rest. You got the rest of the, 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 the Ryan diamonds out there not knowing who to follow. They gonna pull out, follow. They gonna pull out, follow Bishop Brown and become Bishop Brownie. Oh, no. I tell you that. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with being a Bishop Brownie. No, no. They very no, no. women too. Of course. Well, uh. A Bishop Brownie. Well, what do you think, Mister Alex Furlow? What you say? What you think? Would, would you like? Would you allow allow your wife or, or your family, female family members, to be Bishop Brownies? No, it needs to be my brownies. Your brownies, okay. Well, yeah, listen, I you go to like, my place like, for yours. I like I like, I like my wife to be my brownie. Seeing as how you know it, it, it's it's cooked this right, uh, the texture is perfect. The, the the tone and the definition, therefore, is God driven for me. She, if, if she was your brownie, then she could be my wife. Listen here, listen here. She would she would definitely be able to be your wife. But listen here, back to so, listen. Listen now, I just want to say this real quick. I need everybody out there to know that book, Bishop Brownies aren't the same as Boogie Brownies. Okay, Boogie Brownies was a long time ago, and those were not virtuous women. But Bishop Brown is, Brown is very, very virtuous, okay? And so I understand your, your hesitation, brother. But just, just give it a chance. Give it a chance. <laughs> well, no, we, we, can, we can not try. We can not try. I, I would definitely like you two ladies to speak about the Divine Diamonds real quick. You all are actually planning a meeting pretty soon, aren't you? Well, that's yeah. what I hear. 
The president. That's what you hear. Yes. <laughs> oh Lord. Yeah, we're pre- we're planning a meeting. Uh, the fourth is the fourth Saturday in this month. Yes. Uh huh. Yes, the fourth Saturday in this month. I think from um, it'll be my first time meeting with uh, the ladies from Kansas City, I believe. Oh, you and and just. Oh, there it is. You'll love them. David Brown said it. Just you, you two ladies, tell us a little bit about what the Divine Diamonds are, where they're at, and just your vision for them. I, I would like to hear from both of you two women. Okay. Well, we need you to be quiet first so we can tell you. Listen here. Okay. You got it. <laughs> you got it. Okay. You got it. My perception of the Divine Diamonds is a group of women who represent themselves in a godly, Christian, virtuous woman type of display, I guess you could say, or way. Um, There's so many people or women that deem themselves to be models, and they feel like they have to sleep with someone or they have to pose nude or they have to take off all their clothes, you know, any, any type of negative or secular type of way. So the Divine Diamonds is a group that I was asked to be a part of, and I felt like it fit my life because that's how I represent myself. I always represent myself, most importantly, as a child of God, and secondly, as a woman who knows her worth. So I was honored to be a part of a movement of this caliber because it it is such a blessing, and I can't wait until the ball really, really, really gets rolling because it really is going to be a blessing to a lot of women regardless of age color creed or background or anything like it really is going to be a blessing because there are women out there who can show you how to be without having to sleep with someone or anything of the sort Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, my current location is kansas city kansas and uh, i can give my contact information if anyone is interested and currently we do have um, an email address we also do have a fan page on facebook and uh, I just really want to be a mentor to women, young and old or in between, because it, it's a better way. And it first starts with knowing your worth. Absolutely. That's beautiful. Oh, that's, that's, just a that's, excellent. that's excellent. That's excellent. I think excellent. she has really uh, articulated, it. articulated it well. And since I'm and that's why I'm glad you all came on this show, because, I mean, that, we might have just had this show just for this to take place. And so what so, do you think, Um, Adding to uh, what uh, was just said, uh, especially with the word uh, beauty, uh, everyone thinks that beauty is from the outside. Mm. Well, <laughs> it pleases. Of course, beauty does please the senses, and it yes. engages the mind. But uh, it should be one of inner self, and because that's an unfading beauty, and it's gentle, and it's a quiet spirit, and it's of great worth in uh, in God's sight. That's what beauty is. And I think if this can be um, really dealt with, with all the women that are involved in the divine diamonds, they will be a divine diamond and not a diamond in the rough. That's true. Mm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm-hmm. You got to cut, cut that off. That's not going to work. It's off. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, it's off. man. Um, let's see here. Um, Asking you to receive. Seeking you shall find. Not going to do it until the answer. Answer? Uh, well, <laughs> it open. means that the call is not disconnected. Right. right. See. Come on, let's, let's see. get something. Um, You're all I want. You're all I need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome is your name. Let heaven and earth proclaim that there is none greater than you. And I'm so in love with you Because you're all I want You're all I need Mm -hmm. 
and that's just by the rest. By the CD when it come out. Hey, well, oh, can, can we can we get the hook ones at all? Oh, <laughs> you are, you are all right. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. There was a part yes, during that chorus where they were actually singing along, and, and I saw a bright smile on your face. What were you thinking at that moment? Um, I was thinking, all right, crowd participation. Um, one thing about me is uh, whenever there's an opportunity to minister in whatever facet, if if the crowd is participating, then that means that the message is getting across to somebody, you know. Absolutely. And um, that's my my main concern uh, because it's not for shape, form, or fashion. As I mentioned, you know, before, this is all, it's all new, uh, but it's what God wants. And so whatever God wants is what I want to render to him. But at the same time, I just want people to encounter God every time uh, that we meet. It could be just in their conversation. It could be via music. It could be via the preached word. It doesn't matter. I just want to be sure people get a chance to encounter God. That's the most important piece. And let me let me let me make a key point that I need every 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 one of you all to chime in on real quick uh, because because you said about God and everything, uh, but I do want to acknowledge that when you got up there, you know you acknowledge that people may be tired, woo to woo to woo, as as the sister <laughs> sister first lady would would like me to say, uh, but. You said all you know at the end of the day is you love Jesus. And I just want to put it out there real quick and let everybody know that we are becoming endangered species, okay? You hear everybody talking about God, 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 but they don't always associate Jesus when they mention God. And that was something that you that you acknowledge. And I know that every person on the line today is a firm follower and believer of Christ. So I'd just like us all to just throw it out there real quick so, so the enemy knows that we are all connecting and and we are getting stronger and strengthening ourselves as we're awaiting our king. That's right. That's, that's right. right. You're, you're right. Jesus you're right. Yeah. yeah, that's the bottom line. See, 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 how, see how we almost started right just then? I'm I'll tell you, the Lord is good. Jesus. I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise. There, there you go. Be in my mouth. Be in my be mouth. Be in my mouth. Continually be in my mouth. Mm-hmm. And I'm not ashamed of it. Absolutely. Either. Absolutely. Well, I just, wanted, I just wanted to throw that out there real quick. Real yes, quick. Uh, yeah. Jesus is. I feel like crazy. Yeah, then we're going here then. Look, look, hold on, hold on. This sounds like a perfect moment for Bishop Brown's Cuts for Christ. Uh-oh. Let's go ahead. Can I, can I go ahead and let y'all hear Christ. some of Bishop Brown's Cuts for Christ real quick? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Y'all want to hear something? Yeah. We I mean, you know. know. I mean, y'all, y'all got to hear a little bit uh, when y'all was when y'all did Black History and Victory. Do, do I need to get back on the recliner one more year? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, that's all right. Go right, go, go right in. Well, this is more, more uh, Pastor Moore, Bar- 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 Bobby, Pastor Bobby, and say, go right ahead. So we about to get back in the time machine. Let me just let everybody know real quick. Bishop Brown's Cuts for Christ. Let me let you know what I'm doing with this album, okay? Now, there's some rumors floating around out there. There's some rumors floating now around saying that a lot of these musical artists are worshiping the devil. Now, let me tell you this. I can't say who is for who. All I know is who I'm for, okay? And that's why I just wanted to say who we are for, okay? And so what Bishop Brown is doing with the cut for Christ, I am taking these secular songs that are worshiping the devil, and I'm worshiping the Lord with it, you better okay? Say okay, and that, that is how I'm about to infiltrate the industry, Infiltrate the industry. <laughs> Infiltrate the industry for the Lord. Bishop That's exactly ma'am. what I'm about to do. Yes, ma'am. I got to go. You got to go? Yeah. Uh, do you got 30 seconds to do the Bishop Brown? <laughs> oh, go ahead. I just was going to get in the recliner real quick. Get in there real quick. Jump in Jump in there. All right, all right. Make it quick. Here we go. Oh, you can have one feet. accord. I'm going to do it. I'm jumping. Here we go. This is brown. It's real easy. It's real easy. Here we go.
shoot this brown. I'm telling you, we gonna have to over the country, boy. Brown. I'm gonna have to grow me some more lips to do that. <laughs> hey! No, 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 no. no. Nah. They don't pull the whole nine. Baby Brown, baby Brown. I'm, I'm almost browned out. Baby Brown, is there anything you want to say before you leave? No, no, no. Hold on. Matter of fact, the, 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 the spirit of discouragement just spoke to me. Uh, you said you was giving us a song before you left. Uh-uh. I'm yeah, you can get uh, I think Jesus no. loves me. Let's go. How am I going to go after minister? I can't go after a performance. Like come on. That. Come on. you got to. You chose it. Well, let you were chosen. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus, yes, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus loves, loves me. me. Let's go. Uh, can join in on. We will. Okay, let's see. Um, uh, help me, Holy Ghost. <laughs> help her. Help her. Uh. Please, please. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Brown. Good song. Let's see. Let's sing This Is The Day. Let's go. Go ahead. What do you mean, go ahead? You said let's to me for joining well for. I don't know how. I don't know how, how, how. This is the day. This is the day. The day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. Come on, baby, move around. We will rejoice. We will rejoice. Hey, and be glad, glad in it. And be glad in it. the hook on that one. I'll tell you that the Holy Spirit, you, you called for the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit took over at that moment. That's amazing right there. That's a testimony right there. You're right. The Holy Spirit took over, but you was kind of, you was kind of just about five seconds off from us. No, nah, it was, it was my phone. It was my phone. It was my phone. Singing, singing is just kind of my, kind of my calling, so I kind of got disconnected. Kinda, kinda. It's a kinda calling. A kinda, a kinda calling. Yeah, y'all done seen all kind of people with kinda calling. Bishop Brown. I'm sorry. I thank you for the opportunity. I thank you for the time. It's wonderful. I thank you. Um, that uh, saints of God can come together and do this type of thing. So I am grateful. I do appreciate. 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 You can wrote appreciate. That was uh, the Ebonics coming out, but I appreciate you including me in um, on your talk show. It's a pleasure. I always have laughs. May each and every one of you be blessed, especially the pastor and the minister for bringing the word, how y'all bring it through Amen. scripture, through everything. Y'all be blessed. And if I don't see y'all before then, I'll definitely see y'all in heaven. All there right. you go. That's honey. All right. All right. Well, I'll try to see you before then. I'll plan on that. I bet you did. I'll plan to see before. I'm that motion. <laughs> <laughs> so move to keep hope a lot faster. It's Catholic A&E, High Definition, Pippin, Kill the Council, Set the God of Christ, and Spoken. All right. God bless you. All right. You take care. You take care, baby. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'd like to thank Baby Brown for taking some time out. That, that, was, that was lovely. That, I appreciate her sharing that. Now, can, can I get some, some of these cuts for Christ? Can you get one? Get into some of these cut for Christ. Cut for Christ. Cuts for Christ. This is my oh, album. Oh. oh, your album. This is Brown's Cut for Christ. Okay. How many? How many? How many tracks are supposed to be on this album? Well, well, it's gonna be a triple. It, I mean, I believe in the Holy Trinity, so it's gonna be a triple CD. I'm gonna have a CD for the Father, a CD for the Son, and a CD for the Holy Ghost. You know. Uh, so, so, but I'm not going to do all those right now. I just want to give y'all maybe two, two tracks or something. All right. Is that okay? Well, pastor, pastor, yeah. Yeah. you know that I have been having some struggles with, with my marriage in that situation. Already. Okay. I got a wife named Sister Brown that's not a sister at all. So that okay. just tells you what I have to work with. 
I so I, I may be I may be looking for a wife sometime soon. I just want to set up for for this next song. Well, look, I, this, this is this is my prayer off of Bishop Brown's Cut for Christ to all the single Christians out there. I just want to let y'all know something. I just want you to let y'all know that I got a song for all the single Christians out there. You just got to know that the Lord loves you, and so do I. I'm a single Christian. 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 Put your church fans up. Jesus Christ is the greatest thing, and we want them. Jesus Christ is the greatest thing, and we want them. Jesus Christ is the great. Praise the Lord. 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 That was a single Christian. That was a single Christian. What are you then, 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 Pastor, Pastor. Yes, sir. I think that you're gonna like this one uh, uh, very good because because uh, all all these these so-called sinners out there in the music industry they just taking these songs and just going out of control with them. So so there was a song out there called "Live Your Life," you know. Uh, I've changed the lyrics to "Live for Christ." Okay. Right. Okay. So let, let, let me let me just let you hear some of that real quick. All right, let me hear some of it. Jesus is the King, all the stars, Lord of hosts. I'm talking about Jesus, King of Kings, all the stars, Lord of hosts. I'm talking about Jesus, we're going to see a shining star, we're going to see. I'm talking about Jesus, King of Kings, a shining star, Lord of hosts. I'm talking about Jesus. And so then we go on and say, the Lord for Christ. Let's keep on chasing your blood, friends. I just wanted to just share that. That's all. I know Mr. Alex Furlow is, you know, maybe not maybe not be ready to collaborate and do a duo uh, on Bishop Brown's Cut for Christ. But I would like all of you all to be on there as featured artists. All right. I sure appreciate that. Thank you for the opportunity. I'm always oh. here. <laughs> What are you guys over there laughing about? I have one endorsement. Can I get two more? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I endorse this. I'm pretty easy. Well, no, I got you, Pastor. Now I need to get your wife and Minister Alex Furlow to commit to being on Bishop Brown's Cuts for Christ. I guess we can get a proclamation from some Well, what was, who was <laughs> want me to do on Bishop Brown's Cuts for Christ? <laughs> That was that was a real whoop de whoop de whoop song. Oh Lord, that's a real whoop de whoop. <laughs> See, I, I think y'all making fun of Bishop Brown. Oh, Bishop Brown, Bishop Brown. You won't roll the B. You won't get on my cuss for Christ. No, I don't know what's next. I told you I have to grow some more lips to do that. You well, okay. Well, will you commit to being on the good on the on the cuss for Christ? Uh, yeah. You I, can sing that part. I just did. Okay. That's perfect for your voice. Look, God, God, King of Kings. It's the same thing. Mm-hmm. It's the same octave. Count me in, Bishop. There it is. Minister Alex Folo. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm waiting on it. What would you have for me to do on the Bishop Round Cuts for Christ? Oh man, what do you mean? What would I have you do? I have a. I, look, if you can just if you can just spell the name of Jesus Christ, you can be on my next hit, my next single. I understand what they are. Okay. Oh, I do you know how to spell the name of Jesus Christ? Yes, sir, I do. Let me hear you. You got J E S U S C H R I S T. Look, let me let me tell you something, Mr. Alex Furlow. You ain't never heard Jesus' name spelled like this before. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Nice. See, you now, gotta know how to You can do anything on Bishop Brown's Cuss for Christ as long as you're doing it for the Lord. I see. <laughs> <laughs> I see anything. Anything goes. Anything goes. Let us start. I would like to ask you all now uh, for the last uh, minute of the show. Hey, can we go around the room and each of you all tell me your fondest memory of the program? When I was singing. <laughs> you oh. were singing? Oh, Lord. Humility finds you nowhere. That's a Bishop Brown answer. That is a Bishop Brown answer. 
Pastor, what was your fondest memory? No, I'm, I'm, let me get serious. Let me get serious. Okay, what was your fondest memory? The entire program, because it was the first one to happen at our church. I thought that was magnificent. Absolutely. I think Pastor? was just great. I really do. And I appreciate every talent that was there. Absolutely. Well, thank you all. Pastor, what was your fondest memory? Pastor, what's your fondest memory? Mm-hmm. What's your father? He doesn't step in and went to sleep. No. That pastor's after sleeping. Alex Furlow, what is your... I'm just kidding. <laughs> we only have 30 seconds left. Okay. I think it's an excellent time and good to be a part of this celebration tonight and to reminisce of the first black history program at the Victory Bible Church. All are welcome. All come. There we go. Everybody's welcome. Mr. Alex Furlow, what was, uh, your, what was your fondest memory? The piano player. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, there we go. 